many, many years ago, I used to walk these hallways at East Side. That little girl with the long hair and the open mouth is me. As a kid, I wasn't a bad kid. I did get into trouble, but I wasn't I wasn't the brightest. I was just kind of in the middle, normal. <laughs> I struggled to read um, all the way up until like second or third grade, and then it finally started to hit me. Um, I was in a household that didn't speak English. I think not knowing English played a, played a huge role in, in my reading and academic abilities. My parents went to second grade and then they had to drop out to work in the fields in Mexico. When my mother had me, she was um, 15 years old and she, she was living here in America and she had the opportunity to go to um, high school, but my father didn't allow it. They, they did the best that they knew how. My experiences were limited to what they knew and they exposed me to things that they were accustomed to and things that they they were familiar with. And as a child, you don't really know what you're missing out on. You just enjoy what you do get to experience. Throughout my elementary and middle school years, I had teachers who made me feel special. Miss Irie, Miss Mitchell, Miss Thompson, um, many, many different teachers. But I was still in, the, in an environment where um, my influences weren't positive. Um, I think I naturally wanted to to be involved, to be social, to have a life <laughs> of some sort. Um, and I think soccer was probably one of the best decisions I ever made. Carrie was a teacher, um, but she also coached soccer. I honestly think that God sent her just for me because I was drowning in my own personal life and I feel she saved me. She, without a doubt, saved me. Um, she helped me experience a lot of things that I otherwise wouldn't have experienced. She, she was a role model to me. She, there was so much that I learned from her and her culture, her American culture, that I I hadn't been exposed to. There was so much I was able to experience, horseback riding, seeing snow for the first time, um, roller skating, little things that might seem normal to most people, but really, really aren't things that every child is exposed to because, well, for different reasons. She always, 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 always believed in me, always gave me words of praise, um, just was so positive. And she, she was without, hands down, my number one cheerleader. Even through some of the hardest times in her life, she was still there for me. She knew the importance of applying for college, applying for scholarships. My parents knew nothing about scholarships, nothing. And so students who, who don't have someone to tell them, they miss out on those resources. And, and they miss out on opportunities. 
Um, I think because of her, my I was able to find my true potential, and um, she's influenced my perspective on how to be a mother, um, how to be a teacher, how to care genuinely for kids, um, for people in general. My biggest goal is to allow them to experience um, things that I would have never experienced and make them feel better than I have ever felt with a teacher. Um, I think it's my way of paying it forward.